of oh I don't know if I can get it out wanna see front of me as I The sweet lo-fi sounds of Listen Lady right here on the Tony Jones Show. That was Little Mouse. Before that, we heard from Roz Raskin and the Rice Cakes Floorboards, the name of that one. You are tuned in to the Tony Jones Show, facebook.com slash Tony Jones Show. On the almighty Twitter, at Tony Jones in RI. Be sure to check out rifreeradio.org. And if you'd like to be on this very show, go to TonyJones.org, click on the contact page. We have, in fact booked our first guest for the new year 30 silver will be in studio in just a few weeks time they're from up in Boston, massachusetts and uh facebook.com slash 30 silver band if you want to check them out i'm looking at their facebook page right now and they describe themselves as rock grunge punk loud possibly four of my favorite things <laughs> when it comes to music and they've crammed that into their genre so uh, that's going to be a good time looking forward to uh they're, they're one of those uh, enthusiastic bands. When you talk to them, you know, they're, they're kind of like us, George. They're just happy to still be doing it. They're happy to be playing out. And, uh, well, you don't have to pry interview statements out right. of them one syllable yeah. at a time. They're great guys. They're not going to come here to the studio and stare at their shoes. They're not going to drive all the way from Boston to friggin' West Warwick, Rhode Island, and stare at their shoes the whole time. <laughs> but I do have to congratulate uh, two people. I have to congratulate Jim for Rhode Island Food Fights uh, a few weekends ago. I attended the Great Cookie, I believe it's the Smackdown, or is it a Throwdown? Anyway, it's the Hope Artist Village, just uh, filled up with cookies, and uh, this, was, this is the fourth one. This is my first time attending, and I just had a blast, and uh, 
let's just say I may or may not have had the diabetes by the end of the event. And that was my first time actually being exposed to that part of Hope Artist Village, the, the, the shopping part. You do seem to have a tendency toward affiliating yourself with good causes that involve food, don't you? <laughs> you know, that's exactly it because, and I don't want to get too political, especially this time of year and especially on this show, but Rhode Island has so very few things going for it. <laughs> and I think that's a little bit of an understatement. Uh, but the culinary, you know, we talk about it a lot here, but the culinary hospitality scene um, thriving is thriving and is it, it is huge right now. Well, it's, it's you know it's been huge for as far as I can remember, but it, there's really through social media and all these things there's really been a resurgence of uh, you know it was just a great quality low dough event. I think we pumped in a, a little coupon code and I think for, for me and the girlfriend for all we could eat cookies and coffee and milk all day it came to like under twenty bucks. And uh, also our good friend Chuckles the Clown the same weekend. He had just an off-the-charts Toys for Tots event. Now, and I, I mentioned this on his show, and I mean this as a compliment and not an insult. When I pulled up to the venue, there were so many cars there, so many people there, I thought I had the wrong place. <laughs> uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was a great night. It was packed, and uh, things, things kept moving along, and uh, cheap drinks, good friends, and they just raised a, a ton of physical donations for Toys for Tots, so that was a blast. And... um. You know, it's that time of year, but you, you, you have to do your research. And one of those uh, charities that you can always count on that they take no money off the top is Toys for Tots. So just if you're lucky enough to be donating, we've talked about it before, do your, dil- do your, dil- do your due diligence. You almost got us hate mail storm there. Do your again, research. Do yeah. not. Listen, if the CEO of the charity is flying around in a private event, a uh, private jet and having private events. Now let, let's not let's not no no slaps at global warming <laughs> conferences here now. This Toys for Tots is and we have some great local ones, a legit charity. Yeah, you're starting to worry me, Tony. Despite your best efforts, your political side is starting to seep into this to, program. I'm trying to bite my tongue. <laughs> you know, years ago I probably which is the reason why I've been fired from every radio station in town, I would just get behind the microphone and spot off spout off names and possibly contact information <laughs> for these quote-unquote charities. But not this week. We're just going to – it's all about the music here on the Tony Jones Show. So we're going to go way off the seasonal-type music, and we're going to go off kind of our regular genre. This is actually a CD I picked up at Rhode Island Comic Con. It is Tiki Zombie, Welcome to Tiki Z's. And you, you'll think this is cool, George. This, isn't actually, this is actually a companion CD to – the Tiki Zombie comic book series, hmm. which I thought is something I haven't seen in the past and a very interesting uh, situation where you could get all the comics and the music all together. So it's actually an audio companion for you to put on while you're reading the comics, the Tiki Zombie comic series. And uh, I think you're all going to like this. This is Tiki Zombie in action by Timothy Price. Chances are I'm going to almost guarantee you heard it here first on the Tony Jones Show.
Abducted, the name of that one. It's some colorblind right here on the Tony Jones Show. Online at TonyJones.org, Facebook.com slash Tony Jones Show, and on the almighty Twitter at Tony Jones in R.I. George Garner is here. George, we spent some time playing a gig at the Fat Squirrel on Friday night, and I got to say, I needed that. It was a blast. No, it was. I mean, and, yeah, we were talking off mic about, you know, the clubs that have closed New ones rise to replace them. And, uh, the That's fat, true. The Fat Squirrel is a very good venue. Now, the Fat Squirrel, is, well, let's get back to the, unfortunately, closings, which uh, at the end of January, or I believe maybe at the end of February, we'll be leaving, losing our beloved Manchester 65 mere steps from our studio here. Now, the same night that we were playing at the Fat Squirrel, Casey's Tap in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, that was there last night. Hmm. And also Simon's on Valley Street in Providence, they're going to be closed for three months. They're going to be renovating the whole joint, right, which it, mean, fixing which means, it up, cleaning which, it up. Which means don't bother dusting the rust off the padlock at the end of the three 